Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today we're going to do side chaining in Cubase 8 Pro. Uh, we've gone over this a few times in the past, um, but what I thought I'd do again is just sort of uh, go over it again, reiterate it, and use a few different compressors, um, yeah, within Cubase. So, first of all, I've got a kick drum and a pad. Let's play those. So there you go, what we're going to use is the kick drum to duck the pad sound uh, as per normal, uh, pretty much, you know, standard sidechain affair. So when it comes to routing, uh, I've got the kick here and basically I'm sending it to the pad sidechain. So let me just, let me take that off to start with. Um, so here's the kick audio channel. So what we need to do is send a little bit of a uh, kick signal to the pad sidechain. Now on the inserts, I've already put five different compressors. So I've got the Cubase compressor, Waves C1, Fab Filter Pro C, Waves R compressor, and Waves SSL compressor. So we're using five different types of compressors, um, just so we can show you different different uh, ways of doing it. So first of all, we'll send to the sidechains compressor one, and this is a Cubase. So I should probably also explain, let me just turn that on. On the inserts, when I've uh, put the compressor on the channel, you need to turn the uh, activate sidechain button on. So I've already done that on all of those. So basically you just insert it, turn that on, and we're good to go. So right, let's play that now. Open up the compressor. And here you can see the kick signal coming in. And there you can hear obviously I'm going to extremes there now the idea with the side chaining is to get it um, somewhere sort of musical so the sound is actually pumping so obviously that's not right it's way out there so put a little bit of attack on turn the release up There you go that, that's not bad sounding again i'm just going to be really quick just sort of going going through these it's up to you to decide within your track obviously i've just got the kick and pads here so it's always going to sound a little bit strange so let's turn that one off and we'll go to the next one so we're going to send from the kick to c1 compressor it's already turned on let's open up the c1 compressor some ratio on, bring the threshold down, Bit more attack, now for me that one sounds just more musical straight away, I uh, don't know why, uh, it just does. Uh, rather than the Cubase one. That's just my opinion. Um, let's turn that one off. Let's go back into the kick. We'll turn on the Fab Filter Pro C. Go back onto the insert. Let's have a look at this one. So a bit of ratio. Actually, I need to... That was uh, my fault there. We need to open it up, click on the external. Now again, I would spend quite a lot of time going through these, um, again, just tweaking the the main thing is is once you've got you know a decent amount of ratio on and bring your threshold down so you can hear it the two most important features really are the attack and release to get it to sound musical and to pump you know really really well 
Uh, again, try different soft knee, hard knees, uh, different compression styles. You know, and have a listen. Go through all your compressors and find the one that works for you. And again, once you've got your settings right, it's pretty much going to be relevant to, to all the things that you do. So they do all sound different. It may be only slight, but you know, let's try the air compressor now. Go to the insert, turn the air compressor on. So again, fair bit of ratio. Bring the threshold down. And mess about with the attack and release. So So there's the air compressor, let's turn that off and we'll go to the final one which is the SSL, back onto the insert, let's open it up and put some ratio on. So there you go, that, that's the basic side chaining within Cubase 8 uh, using numerous different uh, compressors. So again, just another simple quick tutorial, but uh, just to show you um, some different ways of doing it. There are other compressors out there, of course, and uh, you can also download some free compressors, side chain compressors. Again, just go to Google, have a little look. Um, so yeah, that's about it. If you've got any questions, as per usual, please do get in touch, and of course, you know, if you'd like any tutorials specific uh, to suit your needs, then also do get in touch and I'll, I'll create a video tutorial for you. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.